In this video, I will show you how to use joins in SQL Alchemy. I'm using Flask SQL Alchemy for this example, but it's easily adaptable to just plain SQL Alchemy. So I have three models set up, company, department, employee. Each department has a company associated with it, and each employee has a department associated with it. So those are the three things that I want to eventually join. So the first thing is I want to join two tables. So I want to join employee and department. And to do that, I can put the name of the model here, employee, and also the name of the model of the other table that I want to join, department. Then I need to add a join statement to my query. And then I can call dot all. And then when I loop over the results here, I get two things in a tuple, the employee objects and the department objects. And I can see the employee name, the department name, or any other information associated with those. So if I run that, we see stuff like Sim Flutler of Accounting or Decini Award of Engineering. So that works. If I want to join three tables, the employee, the department, and the company, the only thing different I have to add is the select from before the join because SQL Alchemy needs to know what table you're using on the left-hand side as they call it. So this is basically the main table that you're interested in. So select from employee, and then you can join department and company. And then when I loop over, I have three objects instead of two because I have employee, department, and company here. So employee, department, company, and I wanna get the names. So if I run this, I now see uh, more information. So for instance, Lynn Magano of Information Technology works for Tech Solutions. And the final example is adding a filter in there. So I can add this department ID equals one. So this will give me only employees who have a department ID of one. It won't give me any other employees from departments two through 12. And also I can get the information I want directly. So instead of passing the name of the model here, I can do employee.name or any other field. So in this example, dot name and dot salary, and I can get the results. So I'll run this and we see I have the results here. I have the salary. Nadia Dolphin makes $79,690 per year. So if you want to get the code for this example, you can just click the link down below. If you want to learn more about Flask SQL Alchemy from me, I actually have courses on my site. So just go to courses.prettyprinted.com or just go to the link in the description below and you can learn more about the courses. I have a mix of premium courses and free courses. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.